All right, so here we are in the SudoFX installer. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to install your first SudoEffect. Now, the first time you run the SudoEffect installer, you're gonna get this pop-up window that's gonna ask you for the default version of After Effects. Now, what this is asking is, what version of After Effects would you like to install your SudoEffects into? Now, currently you can say I only have After Effects CC on this list because that's the only version that's installed on this system. But if you have more versions, you'll see them all listed here. And you'll just select the one that you wanna install your SudoEffects into. Now, if for some reason you don't see your version of After Effects on this list, you can hit the Browse button and just select the After Effects install folder on your system. Once you're ready to go, you just hit the Save button, and that window goes away and you're ready to start installing your SudoFX. Now, if at some point you'd like to change the version of After Effects that you're installing SudoFX into, you can go up to the File and down to Preferences, and you can see down here we have SudoFX will be installed into and After Effects CC is chosen, but if you go over to the Change button, you'll get that same pop-up window and you can change which version is selected for you. Now also in the preferences window, you can see that we have the automatically check for updates button. If we turn this on, then every time we open up the SudoFX installer, it's going to automatically check for updates to the SudoFX installer. So this button is referring to the installer itself, not any of your installed SudoFX. I'll explain more about that later. But once we're done with the preferences, you can just hit save and that will save all your changes. And now we're ready to install our first effect. Now there's a couple different ways to add effects to the list. Up here in the top left, you can see we have this drag and drop box, but it also allows you to click it to open up an open dialog where you can choose the file that you'd like to install. Now the easier way to do it is just to open up the folder where you have your pseudo effect and then click and drag it over into the box and you can see it's been added to the list. Now this list gives you a little bit of information about the pseudo effect you're going to install. You can see that it gives you a status, which right now is just ready. And that just means that it's ready for you to click the install button. If this was an update or if there was already a similar version installed in your system, it would let you know that it's an upgrade or a downgrade or a reinstall. It would give you that sort of information here. It also gives you the name, the creator, the current version number, and the minimum version of After Effects required to install this pseudo effect. Now currently I'm installing it into After Effects CC, which means that I'm meeting the minimum requirement. Now if you don't meet the minimum requirement for the After Effects version, the pseudo effect installer will not let you install that pseudo effect. But once you're ready to go, all you have to do is hit the install button and you can see that the status has changed to installed and we get the screen check. And that means that everything's worked successfully and our pseudo effect has been installed. So now let's go into After Effects and just make sure everything's working. And I'll just create a new composition and a new solid. And since this is a preset, we can come over to the Effects and Presets panel and just search for Simple Graphs. And you can see that it's created the Batch Frame folder. Uh, it automatically organizes all of your pseudo effects into the proper folder. So we can just take this Simple Graphs preset, drag it onto our solid, and you can see we get all our effects over on the left side and we get our custom control in here without any sort of missing warnings or any errors when it's dragged on. And everything is working just as it should be. You can see we have complete control over this chart and all of the controls are working properly. So you can see that without any work on your end, it's just a matter of hitting the install button. You can easily and quickly install any pseudo effects into any version of After Effects on your system. Now, just so you know, I have been working on a Windows computer. However, this software also works on Mac and everything works exactly the same over there. Now, there's one more thing I wanna show you before we end this video and that is that the pseudo effect installer can actually let you know if your pseudo effects are up to date. And the way we check that is by going into file and down to the pseudo effect list. Now this is going to show you a list of all of the effects that are installed on your system that you used through the pseudo effect installer. And you can see that right now all we have is simple graphs, but over on the right side you can see the version status is up to date. Now this actually checks online and it depends on if the creator of the pseudo effect is using this feature. But it actually will let you know whether or not there's a newer version of your pseudo effect available to download. So whenever you want to make sure you have the most up-to-date versions for your pseudo effects, you can just come in and look at this panel. And if there is an update available, the status text will become a link so that you can download the updated version. But that's it. Installing pseudo effects is extremely simple, and I hope you download this. This software is free to use. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, feel free to send me an email at contact at batchframe.com, and I'll give you whatever help you need. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.